What's up YouTube, Rider Zero back today, finally with a new toy review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Axle. Um, I picked this up at Morphicon that I went to a couple weekends ago. I got this from CS Toys who had a very nice booth set up there. I'm really glad they showed up because they were the only booth that really brought anything Kamen Rider related. Um, so yeah, big props to them, glad they were there. I managed to pick up a few figure arts that I was missing. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Obviously you can already see that I've got the box open because Axel is standing in front of the box. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and set him aside for now. And there's a text message, sorry about that. Um, the box is staying with obviously the double version of the box. Ever since double come out they've been saying Common Rider instead of Masked Rider. Um, it's got a nice shot of Axel there. Uh, black and white shot. Uh, the box has a nice kind of, um, <clears throat> you could almost call it like a dull metallic orangey reddish color to it. I'm trying to match it as well as possible with Axel. Uh, a few nice action shots there on the back. You know, the usual figure art stuff there. So good stuff all around. Um, go ahead and take a look at the accessories that it comes with. I've got a bunch of junk back there, sorry. Use that for a background. Perfect. Uh, accessory wise, he comes with the normal uh, fist hands. And then starting at the bottom here, he's got the normal splayed open hands. Maybe hard to see because of the glare. Let me pop this off here. There we go, now let's try that again. Comes with the splayed open hands, um, the holding things hands. There's an extra fist that I pulled off of there. He uh, comes with the handle gripping hands for the motorcycle handle on his engine belt. Um, and then a thumbs up there and another kind of relaxed openish hand I don't know what you'll call it so yeah good selection of hands as usual as most figure arts go ahead and pull him into the picture here um, you know if you watched any of my other Axel videos you know that I wasn't a huge fan of Axel to begin with however as the show continued on I did grow kind of into a fan of it and I'm, I'm glad I did because I really like this figure art uh, the color on it's fantastic um, it had sort of, in the prototype shots that I saw, the coloring kind of looked a little weird. But, you know, any issues that may have been with the coloring was, you know, fixed before the official figure came out. Um, which is cool because, like I said, I really I really do like this figure now. Uh, we'll go over the basics real quick as far as joints. Um, you know, normal figure art shoulder joints there. Armor pads lift up on the shoulders, double jointed elbows, full hand movement, uh, stomach and chest movement there, double jointed knees as usual, the legs, um, it does have the double style legs, which isn't a bad thing, it does limit the motion a little bit, not, a, not anything that's going to make you not want the figure though, um, and then the ankle movement, you know, as usual, side to side, up and down, front to back, whatever. Um, I really like the look of the figure. It really does well with the whole motorcycle look to it. Um, now obviously, you can see that here on the on the stomach area. Let's see if we can come in closer, a close up of that. Uh, the henchman belt's actually detailed really nicely. It does pop off. I'm not going to take it off right now, uh, but you can take it off. Um, even the memory on the top of it there is colored. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but yeah, it's really nicely detailed. I was really, really surprised with this engine bed. It looks fantastic. Um, the coloring on it, like I said, is, is excellent. It's got that reddish kind of metallic orangey. I don't know, really know what you call it. It's not necessarily straight red, but it's not orange. So it's kind of a nice mixture in between there, at least to my eye. That's what it looks like. Um, he does have motorcycle pieces all over him. You can see the wheel there, half of a wheel anyway. Um, he does have a wheel on the back that does spin, which is really cool. 
Uh, none of this comes off that I'm aware of. I haven't really decided whether or not to pull hard enough to try. And I probably won't. But it does look pretty cool. Um, and then the head, as, uh, going back to the whole movement thing, the head is the only thing that's kind of limited because of the, the way that the armor comes up around the neck. It does limit the movement a little bit, but, you know, it's it's nothing that's going to stop you from wanting to purchase the figure. Um, the eyes, I don't think you're going to really be able to see it. But they do have the compound axle eyes like you'd see on the show, and it really does look good. Of course, you know, they did they did excellent on the head sculpt for this one. It really does look just like the show, so... Um, freaking phone, shut up. Sorry about that. Uh... Where was I? Oh, the head sculpt. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I, I really, really dig this one. And, you know, they, they nailed it pretty much with this one. Um, one thing I do want to show you is the engine blade that he comes with. Obviously, it is his weapon from the show, so it would come with him. Um, it's the little things that make me happy, and I was really, really excited just for the simple fact that it pops open. I thought that was really cool. You know, most, play, most weapons you see that come with figure arts, like the... You know, just off the top of my head, like the, the metal shaft that comes with uh, heat, heat metal. You know, they come with two different pieces. One for when the shaft is closed and he wears it on his back. And then one for when it's, you know, fully pulled apart for the weapon mode or whatever. Um, they didn't do it with this one, which I think worked out well. Because you can kind of put him in the pose where he's loading the, the engine memory in here for his attacks or whatever. But I just thought that was really cool. Um... Since I already have the weapon out, we'll take a look at it. The weapon is detailed fantastically. Like, it, it really does look amazing. Um, if you watch my review for the the DX engine blade, you know that I'm a sucker for the gun blade. So, um, that, the, that the weapon looks this good as it does. And I was really, really pleased with that. Um, lost my train of thought. Sorry, somebody's yelling outside the door. <laughs> um... But yeah, as far as this goes, you know, it, it's it's very, very nice looking. They got the colors, you know, pretty much exactly like they need to be. Even even the little gold detailing on the engine blade there. I don't know if it'll pick up on the camera, but uh, you can see that in there. But, you know, overall, it's just a, a really great figure. Um, I was really, really pleased with this, and I'm super glad that I picked it up. I've, you know, kind of got a special place in my heart for this one now just because... As, as much as I kind of disliked Axel from the beginning, to have it kind of almost come full circle to where, you know, I sit and play with the memory all the time just because it's the closest one I have to me. But, um, and, you know, the Henshin belt's a lot of fun to play with, and the figure art just kind of tops the cake and just really does look awesome. Um, so I would, you know, definitely recommend this one. It's, especially if you're a fan of Double, it's a definite pickup as it will sit nicely with any of the other double figure arts that you may have. Um, you know, it's got the standard standard excellency that most figure arts do. No problems with any of the joints like uh, Mr. Skull up there had, unfortunately. Um, a good selection of hands. Coloring on it's fantastic. I've looked my figure over, you know, a couple of different times and did not see any faults whatsoever in the paint. Um, no molding problems, anything really. Um... So yeah, it's, it's highly recommended. Definitely check it out. Um, so that'll pretty much do it for this one. I will have some more reviews coming up in the next few days. I do have G3X that I'm going to do a review on. As well as the Deluxe uh, Momotaros Imagine uh, figure art set that I picked up at CS Toys. Uh, eventually I'm going to get around to doing some reviews on the Ghost Ager stuff. Uh, if you watch the vlog, you know I picked up the Tin Soder and the Leon Cellular. Um... So, yeah, I think that'll about do it for now. As always, please, please subscribe. I um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. You know, I have a lot of fun making them. may not be the best videos in the world, but, you know, it's something to do. It's a lot of fun. Um, and also, check out the podcast, Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Uh, I did a guest host spot on it last week, which was a lot of fun, with Shukin Shinobi, Jedi Mon 2005, and Dawson Rider. Um, check out their respective YouTube channels as well. Uh, and that'll about do it. So, as always, take care. Hope you guys enjoyed, and keep watching. More to come.